Drive straight up, back and down. And straight up, back and down. Basically, with, with the one-legged squat, we're shifting all our load onto one leg. And then we're going to sit back and down with the hip and drive straight up. So it's back and down and straight up, back and down and straight up. But a lot of athletes have problem with this movement because as soon as they get on one leg, they start focusing on the balance and all the mechanics change. So, and then drive up. That's it. Let's try a couple more. So you can see that Austin, his ankle's really working there. Okay, his knee has to stabilize, his hip has to stabilize. Also getting a lot of core and midsection work here. The abdominals have to be nice and tight. So it's really a, actually a full body movement. And that's really important when you're kicking, you're on that one leg, you need to stabilize your entire body. There's your center of mass right there. And that's where your power is gonna come from. So I swing it back, I'm gripping with the fingers here. I swing it back and I push my hips through. Okay, so let's go ahead and do about 10 reps like that. Now what's great about the kettlebell is not just the hip extension, but it's working the strength training and the cardiovascular at the same time. So you're, you're getting fitness and strength simultaneously. Okay, and just like other, you want to have your, your chest, so big chest, shoulders pulled back. A nice steady breathing, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. That's good. Okay, set it down, Austin, good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, even just after a short time, you can feel your heart rate start to accelerate. Now, if you, if you start to do this for a minute, two minutes, you're going to feel like you just ran a say a 10K or something. Okay, so from here, what we really want to emphasize, one of the unique things about the kettlebell is, as the saying goes, you can't swing a barbell between your legs. Kettlebell, you can actually swing behind you. And by coming behind you, that really loads the hip. With a barbell, you're here. So if you don't load your hips properly, it's going to be really hard to get that extension. With the kettlebells, it forces you to load the hips because the bell's swinging. So I want you to actually come way back, way back, okay? And you're gonna do a little partner drill. So you're gonna face me here, okay? And do the swing. Okay. And I'm gonna make Austin do a, a bigger backswing, a stronger backswing, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push him back here. So he has to really load that bell swings behind. going to go to the clean okay so the clean is the power is coming up now a clean with a barbell boom it's here and you pop it but the arms are out in front of the body with the kettlebell you're pulling up the arm stays against the body so it's a little bit different and the wrist stays straight so I'm going to swing it back like a one hand swing but now it flips okay, okay? And then once I have the clean, I can press it, but even more athletic, a greater conditioning, instead of a press, I'm going to do a push press or a jerk, which means I'm using my legs. And down. So there's my pull. There's my press. I'm working the whole body with one movement, a pull and a press. Okay. And that move also, you're working that hip extension, but now you're learning to work hip extension and knee extension here. In the and you don't need to, it's not always who can lift the strongest weight one time, but a submaximal load moving many times, okay? Football is not one play, it's four quarters. So you gotta finish strong, it's not just that starting strong. It's good to be strong in the weight room, but you gotta have that flexibility to go with it or you won't be able to use your strength in the playing field, and that's where it matters. Now, I find my balance, I close my eyes. 
Now see what happens. You remove that visual feedback. Now the body proprioception system has to work harder to keep your balance. And you see when he closes his eyes, everything starts to speed up. The nerves start yeah. firing faster. Okay, let's try the same thing on the other leg. And you want to work up initially 30, 10 seconds, then 30 seconds, and then work up to a minute. And just like anything else, you're not going to necessarily be good at it the first time, but you practice. Okay, then the next progression, I stay here, I lift, I close my eyes, and I turn my head. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. There's Steve Cotter dropping some knowledge on us, just throwing us, throwing us some demonstrations on a few exercises that just in itself was very, very difficult. If you guys want to know more about what he does on a day-in, day-out basis, you can visit his website, IKFF.com. If it's certifications, uh, kettlebells, everything that you need to know about that stuff, you can find on his website. So, Steve, again, we appreciate it. Really uh, pleasure, John. Awesome Happy. stuff. And uh, like you said, uh, email, what's your email address? Uh, it's just my name, Steve Cotter, at IKFF.net. Uh, but... If you just go to IKFF.com, there's a contact link there. You can get my email that way as well. Awesome, guys. Try that stuff out. Give us some feedback, and we'll look to you guys on the next show.